People uh, can uh, be pretty skeptical nowadays about people who claim to be awake, and it may appear to many that you're setting yourself up for an awful lot of criticism. Adya, and isn't that telling? I think it's unfortunate that a, pe that a person can spend hour after hour, day after day, year after year, dedicating his life to enlightenment, and yet the very notion that anybody attains enlightenment is a taboo. We're all going after this, but God forbid somebody says they've realized it. To me, it highlights the fact that people are chasing an awakening they don't believe could happen to them. That's a barrier, and it's the biggest one. Bodian, what might explain this tendency? Adya, people want liberation, but they're also terrified if they completely let go, they'll find a dangerous, deluded person underneath it all. If we see through it all and give it up, what will become of us? It's scary. Everything in the end is a defense against nothingness. There was a lot of seeking, like I wanted answers, um, I wanted to understand everything. One door opened and I couldn't go back in that other direction, you know, next, next door opened, I'd step through it and I couldn't go back until, until I was left with, with just the search for God on my own. It's, uh, some people seem to wake up like this and others <laughs> think many, many years and call it seeking and, and uh, kind of inquiry. Let's start uh, from ground zero and say, I am not an enlightened person or being. Uh, I have, I'm very blessed I've had a fortunate life. Mm, lots of love. Not a lot of money, but a lot of love. At one point in my earlier life, I thought that I was separate from life. 